Hello, I'm Steve Marshburn, Operations Warehouse Manager for Jones Onslow EMC. I am responsible for purchasing all the materials and supplies needed by our crews to build and maintain the power lines at the cooperative. This includes power poles. Have you ever wondered how power poles are made? The southern yellow pine is the tree most often used to make power poles. It takes 35 to 40 years until they are ready to be harvested for this purpose. We have thousands of these poles throughout our service territory and are adding more each and every day. So press play to learn more about how a tree becomes a power pole. Ever wonder how a tree becomes a utility pole? In the United States, most electric distribution poles are made from southern yellow pine, a species grown throughout the southeastern region of the country. Virtually all of these distribution poles are cut from carefully managed stands of timber, usually from 35 to 40 years of age. Only about 15 to 20 percent of pole-sized trees are actually of high enough quality physically for possible use as utility poles. Once harvested, the selected trees are delivered to the processing facility for debarking and machining. After being cut to the desired length, they are measured to determine the proper size class. The poles class determines its load capacity. Next, poles are dried and sterilized to kill any decay spores that may be present in the wood, a process that normally takes one to three days. After the poles are dried, they are spread out on skids for framing and inspection. Framing consists of cleaning any bark left over on the poles from peeling, putting required gains on the poles, boring all necessary holes, and applying burn brands or inset metal tags to the face of the pole. The tags identify the producer, date of treatment, preservative, required preservative retention, length, and class of the pole. Once the framing process is completed, poles are inspected by the producer and then by any outside inspection requested by the consumer. After framing and inspection, the poles are placed on wheeled trams and loaded into long metal treating cylinders that are sealed prior to the poles being subjected to a pressure vacuum treating cycle. After treatment, sample borings are taken from the treated poles and analyzed to determine if the desired preservative penetration and retention requirements have been met. If a pole meets all physical and treatment requirements, it's ready for shipment to your electric cooperative where it's installed to support power lines in your community, delivering the safe, reliable power you depend on. If you'd like to learn more about the life cycle of a utility pole, contact your local electric cooperative.